And just when we think the fishing drama has stopped, news of Scott Martin's catch on day two at the Harris chain gets that day disqualified. That's what we're going to talk about right now. If you like this kind of content, make sure you click that like and subscribe button to become part of the team and family. Now, first and foremost, Scott reported this on himself. He actually put a video out, which was the video that the guy pulled the gun out on him as he was running through the channel, going to either he was going to Apopka or he was coming back from Apopka. And it was kind of a weird, almost scary video. And I, I'll put a link below to the video. But he policed himself because he got an infraction on day two for the tournament. Now, Scott casted over a barrier that was meant to keep boats out and he caught a fish and like i said he put he put it on social media put out the video and then found out that it was wrong that he had done something wrong and reported that he did it on day two of the bassmaster elite on the harris chain and this kind of stinks for scott he broke rule c14 which is permitted fishing locations in general tournament waters shall be established by tournament officials for each tournament only the water opened up public fishing will be considered tournament waters. Waters deemed off-limits by authorities or tournament officials should be treated like a wall. No boats or casting behind that boundary while fishing. And that's the rule that he broke. This hurt him in several ways. First, it cost him $2,500. Second, it dropped him in a lot of points in Angler of the Year, where he's been fairly consistent for the last few years. In 2021, he was 42nd. In 20 2022 he was 38th and 2023 he was 44th right now he's sitting in 91st place out of 105 108 anglers and why that's important it's not that scott does really well on youtube he has one of the biggest youtube channels out there but luckily he's already made the 2025 classic because as it stands right now with this and just having maybe some bad luck this year he isn't in contention to make the classic thank goodness he's already got that classic bit. And while I record this, the weird thing about this, and I'm going to put a clip in here right now, I'm not sure that this clip is where he got the infraction because he actually caught two fish in this one canal. There's no sign saying no fishing. There's a lot of things other than there is a barrier because they don't want boats going in there, probably because it's some sort of draining ditch drainage ditch and this puts Scott back a little bit to where he wants it's important for that angler of the year points and to do well and to get a check every time you go to one of these tournaments you have to give Scott a little bit of credit that he self-policed him now it did take 14 days since releasing the video but he did do it himself and maybe someone told him and he didn't know the rules and maybe someone told him after seeing the video we don't know maybe we'll hear from Scott and he'll tell us his side of the story but as it stands right now his day two catch on the Harris chain was just qualified. Should anglers get penalized that much when they make a cast on some place that doesn't say no fishing? How much does this hurt Scott Martin in your opinion? Do you agree that self-policing worked in this situation? That's what I want to know in the comments below. Again, thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. I'll talk to you very soon. Thank you and cheers.